We welcome onto the set now our Play With The Pros guest analyst, Justin Park. I asked uh, on Twitter who would uh, come out here today and uh, be our guest analyst. Justin was the first to respond. I appreciate you doing that. No problem, uh, no Justin, problem. tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? How old are you? I'm uh, 32 years old. I'm from San Clemente, California. Uh, I've been around the races about 25 years. 25 years? So you've been coming since you were about seven years old. Yep. And uh, like, who took you to the races? How did you get involved? Uh, actually, it's funny that you bring that up. The trainer of the seven horse, Matt Chu. Oh, okay. He brought me into uh, the races. And, uh, you know, I've been going to his barn ever since I was seven years old, and that's how I got involved. So this was, look, uh, a total coincidence. We had planned on race number three being our Play With The Pros guest analyst race, but we had no idea the guy that we were going to select had a connection to Image <laughs> of Joplin. So are you obligated to pick this horse today? I mean, are, I you, are, so are, are you part owner of this horse or just you know Matt Chu? I just know Matt Chu. You know Matt yeah. Chu. Okay, yeah. so you feel like a connection here yeah. to the seven and you would be obligated to pick this horse at <laughs> six to one. Um, how would you describe yourself as a handicapper when you sit down and you don't have a Matt Chu horse in the race to handicap, how do you approach the past performances? I pass the PPs by, um, you know, I look at the pace. Pace is huge. Um, I like, you know, the mid-pack horses to the front runners, you know, especially based on the surface. If it's very fast, if it's slow, you know, you just got to play the pace, so, you know. And as this field emerges through the tunnel here, we're going to come back and have a post parade with Justin Park as our Play With The Pros guest analyst. And uh, Justin, our Play With The Pros guest analyst, and I decided he's going to take the odd-numbered horses in here. So you get the first horse in our post parade, the one dreamy kid. We got the one dreamy kid with uh, Nils Drysdale as a trainer, Joel Rosario. Is, uh... The two Indian Nate is a horse that John Sadler brings the synthetic for the first time. Should be able to handle the distance of a mile and a half out of a prized mare. Up next is the three, Mistaken Identity. Mistaken Identity is uh, trained by Leonard Powell, and his jockey is Free Spawn. Yeah, and uh, I would think this horse tactically could be there close. Looks good out on the mm -hmm. racetrack at 6-1. to one. The four is Foolhardy for trainer Pete Erton, and Foolhardy sitting up on the board as our longest shot in the field at 14-1. to one. They had claimed this horse a number of starts ago for 25000 Hasn't really made an impact in the barn. Up next is the five. We got five, the perfect set, trained by California Chrome trainer Art Sherman and jockeyed by Hall of Fame Alex Elise. You were out here yesterday for that, right? I California was, Chrome. I was. That was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? That was it? pretty impressive. The uh, six prime issue certainly has a class edge in this field. Last time out, a winner against optional claiming 40000 that's uh, way elevated from the starter mm -hmm. allowance, 16,000. And here is the Matt Chu <laughs> trained Image of Joplin. Image of Joplin, three-year-old. Uh, jockey is uh, Tyler Bays and uh, looking good out there. All right, uh, that is your post parade completed here for race number three at Del Mar. Seven minutes to get to TVG.com and play. We are with our Play With The Pros guest analyst, Justin Park. If you want a shot at being a guest analyst when we're out on remotes here on TVG, out at the racetrack, Follow me on Twitter at Todd TVG, at Todd TVG. And Justin, I hadn't realized, and, and I apologize for this until you mentioned it, you and I have crashed, crossed paths before. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the summer meet here at Del Mar, it's been my privilege to moderate the Thoroughbred Owners of California have a first-time owner seminar, mm -hmm. and you are kind enough to be one of the ambassadors who takes some of the prospective new owners out on the backside for the tour. So good to see you again. And yeah. th that's, that's good you work with the TOC and try and bring new owners into the game. Of course, of course. It's always a pleasure, and uh, I just like bringing new owners and giving them the opportunity to uh, purchase a racehorse. Okay, when you play the races, uh, and upcoming here in race number three, uh, the wagering options are win, play, show, exacta, quinella, trifecta, superfecta wagering. You can also play daily double pick three wagers. What pools do you normally play into? I like the pick fives and pick fours mostly. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, I play those. And if I like a horse a lot, I'll play win place. Um, I don't do too many exactos or tries. So taking a look at image of Joplin here, who sits up on the board at eight to one, your, your decision's probably made pretty easy. Win place on a horse like this. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, now, as you look at the mile and a half, um, what is it you like about some of the horses in the field here? Who's caught your eye aside from Image of Joplin? Um, there's been one horse that's actually gone a mile and a quarter this far, um, and that's a perfect set with Art Sherman. Uh, this, like you said, this distance is very hard. Yeah. Um, not only these horses, but you gotta th these jockeys. 
Not a lot of them have been gone this distance. Yeah, and Alex Solis, with his experience being a Hall of Fame rider, makes sense on the five perfect set. He could get his 5,000th career win. We'll come back to Del Mar with Justin. Right now, it's back here at Del Mar. We are finally to the starting gate for race number three. And as we said, a mile and a half, so don't cheer too <laughs> wildly. The first time past the finish line, they're coming back around again. A four to five favorite here in the sixth prime issue. Our Play With The Pros guest analyst is Justin Park. All right, Justin, your top three selections in here in order of preference. I'd go seven, six, five. Seven, six, five. Ten to one over four to five over six to one. Moving into line for race number three at Del Mar. And four to five is prime issue. And this is a horse who looks like not only the class of the field, but might be able to control the pace. And then the real question will be the distance of a mile and a half by Tanner's My Man out of a benchmark mare. And don't forget, if Alex Solis wins on the five perfect set, his 5,000th career win. Here's Trevor Denman, the third from Del Mar, live on TVG. Field sent on their mile and one half journey. Along the inside, we have Mistaken Identity going off to lead them. Been joined now by Prime Issue, but Prime Issue wants the lead, so Prime Issue takes over and goes on to lead them. Image of Joplin goes up to race in the second spot. Mistaken Identity right there. They've slowed it right down up front now after a rather quick early 16th. Then we come back to Indian Nate in the fourth position. They followed by Perfect Set, content to sit back a good eight lengths off these leaders. Then comes Dreamy Kid. Foolhardy races at the back. They're at the top of the stretch first time round now and Prime Issue just taking them along as slow as he can out here. Prime Issue leads it just about a length. Image of Joplin races along in second. Just in behind those two now, we have Mistaken Identity, followed then by Indian Nate. In behind that comes Perfect Set, Dreamy Kid and Fool Hardy is still the trailer. They run towards the 7 8 pole and still Prime Issue. Got it all his own way out here. Not in any hurry. No one's putting any pressure on him either. Image of Joplin sitting there in the second spot and they are then being followed by Perfect Set along the inside. On the far side, we have Indian Nate going up to join them. Mistaken Identity is another one in there. Then we come back to Dreamy Kid, who's second last, now gives them five length start and at the back is Fool Hardy. So there's no change in the order as they make their way onto the backstretch. It is still prime issue setting the pace. Now image of Joplin's a little closer in second. On the far side, Indian Nate, and down at the rail, we have mistaken identity. Between runners is perfect set. No more than three lengths covers five. Dreamy Kid is still back second last, and Fool Hardy continues to trail as seven to make up. Half mile to go, and now they kick on for home here as Prime Issues now let loose on the lead, goes on to lead just about a length. Image of Joplin on the far side. Along the inside now we have Indian Nate going up to take the third spot. In behind them, Mistaken Identity and Perfect Sets in behind them. Dreamy Kid still has six to make up. Foolhardy is last. They are coming to the top of the lane, and Prime Issue now goes on for home. Image of Joplin puts the pressure on second. Homeward bound now, Prime Issue at the rail. Image of Joplin stride for stride out here. In behind that comes Indian Nate. Coming for home, and Prime Issue shaking loose again. And Prime Issue's actually opening up with a 16 to go. Gone clear by three. Indian Nate is running on for second, but Prime Issue too good. Prime Issue won it clear to Indian Nate and perfect set. Prime Issue rated all the way around the track by Elvis Trujillo. That three quarters almost defies description. 117 and one. So essentially clicking off 25 and one, 25 and two, and then 26 and three. Elvis Trujillo, nice job. And look, the class of the field shows here at four to five. Uh, just a tough horse to beat with those fractions and yeah. that type of class. Yeah, they went really slow. And uh, in the end, the betting public never wavered here. Four to five on the six. Prime issue as far as image of Joplin was hanging around there for a while. Yeah, yeah, she ran, ran his heart out and I uh, believe uh, he got edged out. Six, two, five. Your top three finishers here. Four to five over five to one over six to one. And image of Joplin does hold on for fourth here at 12 to one. Final time for the mile and a half, 233. Hey, Justin, this is uh, good to see you again. I guess I will see you <laughs> at the summer meet for the uh, TOC first time course, owner course, seminar. Course. Anyone watching out there you want to say hello to? I uh, just thank my family and friends and uh, Matt Chu um, and uh, everybody at OC Tavern.
OC Tavern. Yeah. Okay, so they, they like to watch the races there. Yes. They yeah. hang out. We have a right. little mutual place here. So. Oh, fantastic. Justin Park, our Play With The Pros guest analyst. Follow me on Twitter, at TodDTVG, if you want to be on a future edition of our show. When we come back, prices for race number three.